Hello everyone, Dana14 Prime here. Today we're getting a early jump off to the races. Marvel Legends, Homecoming Spider-Man. Got him in his homemade suit there. This figure has been available on Amazon, though it might not be in stock anymore. So still very early for this guy. Check him out in front of the box. Looks cool, homemade suit. See some accessories in there. Comes with the uh, Build-A-Figure piece, which is the Vulture Wings, which is cool. I definitely am looking forward to putting those together. So out of the box here, some cool artwork of Spidey in his tech suit. Looks like the same thing on the other side. Back of the box here, you've got the product shop. All the figures in the wave. A lot of cool figures too. A couple Spider-Mans, Moon Knight, Tombstone. So pretty cool. Vulture, of course. So you're basically getting three movie figures and then four comic characters. Got the blurb up there in the corner. You can pause and read. All right, so let's pop this guy out of the box, check him out. Okay, so here's Spidey out of the box in his poor man's homemade homecoming suit. You would not be confusing this guy with Ric Flair. The Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. Woo! But I do like this guy more than I thought. This homecoming suit, it's kind of fun. I think they've done a nice job with it here, detailing it out. He's got the hooded sweatshirt on. You can see there's a lot of nice detail through the wrists, actually. He comes with a few different accessories. He's got that hood piece there. He comes with another hoodie that comes over his head. And then he has interchangeable hands to be using the web shot or a closed fist. So let's just jump in close on him. You can take a look at that head sculpt. I mean, pretty basic, right? It's just kind of like he's got this sock for a mask on and he's got these goggle type things on. So. Pretty simple, but I think it works for the look, what they've done there. This hoodie piece here, it comes off, and he comes with a full hood that he can put on. This is the full hood, as you can see. Little red riding hood style. Looks like it just slides over the head, so we're going to need to put the head in there. And just go right over the top with that. And there you've got him hooded up. That's pretty cool too. Just like a little piece of rubber. Holds the shape well though. Looks good. They gave it some texture. Good color match with the jacket. So pretty cool, simple little thing they can do. Maybe it would have been cooler if they had given us a Tom Holland head sculpt. But maybe on the tech suit Spider-Man we'll be getting that. So I'll just let you check this out the rest of the way down. I think the spider is cool there. There you can see the hands and the wrists. It's probably where some of the best detail is on the figure. Check that out there. It's got the web shooters. Really nicely detailed onto the wrist. You can see the gloves got black underhand. The fingers are all there. Looks really cool. So you get two of those. You get the, the left hand as well. It's in the box. Then you've got the web shooter over here. Again, looks good. And you get the classic Spidey hand gesture. Just like that. The fingers, the glove. Looks really great. Nice job with the hands here. It's really the most detailed, best looking part of the figure. Are the wrists and gloves. And again, there's just the hand alternates. If you want to kind of go full fist, full web sling, you can do that. And then really down into the waist of the figure and the pants, he's kind of boring, really. Got a drawstring there, kind of molded into his waist. Otherwise, just a little bit of cloth texture look to the suit. The boots down there are pretty nice. You can see there's some extra texture molded into there. Kind of looks like a Spidey suit type uh, type of texture. So those are looking pretty cool. Now let's let you check out quickly down the side of the figure, the head sculpt there, the arms and everything. He's got a good build for Tom Holland. You know, he's kind of very thin, skinny figure. So that all looks really cool. Let's just complete the tour of the figure here. You can check out the back. Again, nothing too special, but they kind of mold in some, some cloth effect. And then here, just to give you a sense of scale, I've got Civil War, Spidey, Marvel Legend there, and then Captain America, Civil War as well. And I think it looks pretty good. They stayed pretty true to the Civil War height of the figure. And I think it works next to Cap. And I'll give you a shot of that from the front as well, just so you can see like the width difference as well. Spidey obviously very skinny. And in his homecoming suit, he's kind of soft. You know, he's not, not as jacked as he is over there in his tech suit. Okay, so articulation is pretty basic. They didn't give us all the extras from the Civil War. But his head's just kind of 
going to be pretty typical. Uh, get some good down and up there. That's good. Head up is really good. The shoulders, they don't have the same technology that the uh, Civil War Spidey had. They're probably keeping that, hopefully, for the tech suit Spidey. So you can see the shoulder, the bicep joint there. Elbow. Wrist will spin around. It's got the little pivot point. It's got a crunch there. Waist swivel. Legs don't uh, do not do the splits too well. I always like my Spideys to have great leg articulation. That's good that way. He's got a thigh swivel up high. Double jointed knee. Pretty good. It's got a swivel there at the calf, actually. And then kind of your typical roll around ankle articulation. So really I'd say nothing too special in terms of Marvel Legends articulation. We didn't get the extra shoulder stuff that we saw in Civil War Spidey. The leg articulation, you can't really get him to do a deep Spidey squat that looks good like this. You can get him like this. It's not terrible, but Spidey should be able to get even lower. And the hips don't let you do it. So that's pretty much it with the figures, guys. I'm going to pose them out here a little bit for you. Really quick, guys, build a figure piece here. We get a wing. So many more pieces yet to go to put this thing together. So that's it, guys. Marvel Legends, Spider-Man Homecoming, Homemade Suit, New Marvel Legends Wave, maybe sort of available on Amazon. Check the link in the description below. I can point you in the right direction for these guys. And stay tuned for others from the wave. Okay, I'll see you next time.